so that means the armor right here. So now what I'm going to use is this wonderful um, hardware. It's my last one. And I can't remember where I bought it, but it is the best. It's, um, it goes, it's an anchor. So it's an anchor. Oops. And you don't need to, um, I'm going to use a screwdriver, uh, an electric you know, it's whatever, a drill, uh, because I'm short on time, but you can use just a regular screwdriver will do. Okay. Don't you think we should check it? Maybe we should check it before we, you know, drill the hole. Just to make sure, what do you say? Okay. Just happen to have it right here. Alright. Let's see. So. That should be right where it is. So that means it actually sits right on that ledge, which I think is kind of cool. So I don't need a bottom piece. I'll just use that. So now let me, so instead of it doing it that way, I'm going to do it this way. You know what? I'll leave it. I will leave it. Okay. So I was just debating whether to make it go all the way to the um to the casing down there, but I don't think I want to make it because it's going to be hanging too. So anyways, let's uh I hope I might should I go all the way down? I wish I had someone to hold it for me. Good luck. Yeah, okay. Decision made, decision made. Mm. Alright, well, glad we checked. And that's the fun thing about making up your own projects, is it is step by step, you know, you kind of, oh, come on, not my painted walls, I guess should be covered up, um, you know, each step you can easily screw up, and, um, so you, you really do just take it step by step. So you can't be too much of a hurry. See how easy that was. If y'all have done anchors um, in the past, you know what a, a bummer it is to have to sit there and find the right, and you're tearing up your wall, and you're like, why am I doing this? And then they don't fit, or they break, or they're cheap. So, all right, I'm gonna leave that out enough to catch the wire. So, here's the big moment, should I? I'll stop the tape and make a new knot. I'll tell you what, we deserve to see it on this piece, right? Let me move it back a little bit. Stop the tape. Oh, I can always edit it out. <laughs> All right. So now, 
again, wish I had somebody here. Let's see. How far do I have to get it up? This is where you use your feet. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Now, because of the wire, I can move the room. Now, what's going to happen, well, it doesn't really matter, but this, this kind of protrudes out here, and then it goes down and it touches down at the bottom, and that's what I wanted so that when it, it feels kind of like it's leaning into you, but the door frame will be, it won't be doing that. It will be flat, and so actually I've got a sample piece of wood right here. So then this will be going here, but all the way to here, and it'll be steady. That's what it looks like. Cool. If only I could get it to go a little bit more in so that it would... Anyway, so that's going to go uh, straight across. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see what it looks like. And, and y'all, if, if it, if this leaning back thing backfires on me, if it starts to look too uneven, um, all I'll do is get some Velcro and just, because it's hanging safely from the wires we put up. So by pushing it back, it would, it would do n nothing. I mean, it would continue to hold its weight, but in a different way. So, now that I've got that in place, I would be wise to make some marks um, and make sure everything's even, uh, make some marks, and then it should be a matter of just connecting and cutting this wood, or not this wood, but see, it's too short, oh, what a poor guy. Oh, so close. All right, anyways, all right, so off we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs>